This is gonna be a pretty quick video where we solve two problems. And this is gonna involve a technique called, maybe we could call it completing the product, which is pretty similar to completing the square, which you would maybe see in some sort of pre-calculus class or use in calculus via doing integration or something like that. So our goal is to find all natural numbers m and n, and by natural numbers I mean positive integers, such that, well first of all it'll be this equation is satisfied. So m plus n plus mn equals 20, 20. And then we'll also do this second equation. But let's maybe get to this first one. Like I said, we'd like to do something which maybe we'll call complete the product, which means maybe we could add something to this left-hand side so that this like obviously factors. So if we look at this, maybe we could see it that, that if we add one to the left-hand side, then this will factor. But if we add one to the left-hand side, then we have to add one to the right-hand side. So that's gonna give us the following setup. I'm gonna reorder this a little bit like M, n plus m plus n plus 1 equals 2020 plus 1 is 2021. Okay, good. But now notice that I can do some grouping here. I can group the first two terms and the last two terms. I can factor an m out of the first two terms, and that's going to give me m times n plus 1. I can factor a 1 out of the last two terms, and that'll leave me with n plus 1 equals 2021. But now I can factor that just like m plus 1 times n plus 1 equals 2021. Now, since we're dealing with positive integers here, that means that m plus 1 and n plus 1 are both strictly bigger than 1. Again, that's because m and n are both bigger than or equal to 1. So now we might want to think about how this 2021 factors. And I'll let you guys play around with it, but it factors as the product of two primes, 43 times 47. Like I said, you can check that. But now since those are primes, that means that's the only way to factor this 2021. So we can match this m plus 1 and this n plus 1 with 43 or 47. So let's maybe do that. We have m plus 1 equals 43. That's one possibility. That means that n plus 1 has to be equal to 47. So that tells us that m comma n is equal to 4246. We can think about it as an ordered pair. But then we also get the symmetric answer because m and n are really playing the same role here. And that would be m n is equal to 46, 42, that ordered pair. Okay, so now let's move on to this next one. We're gonna use the same strategy of completing the product. So let's look at this and see what we might have to add to both sides to complete the product here. If you look at it for a little bit, you'll probably see that 35 will work because that's five times seven. So let's add 35 here and we'll add 35 here as well. But let's see how that allows the left-hand side to be factored. So we can do some grouping. Well, let's maybe bring this down first. We have mn plus 5m plus 7n plus 35 equals 2,055. Now I can group my first two terms and my last two terms. Factor an m out of my first two terms. That leaves me with n plus 5. I can factor a 7 out of my last two terms. That also leaves me with n plus 5. And now I can factor 20. 55 as a product of primes. So that's gonna factor like three times five times 137. Okay, then furthermore, I can factor this left-hand side, the n plus five out, that'll give me m plus seven times n plus five equals three times five times 137. Okay. Now, we really want to use the fact that m and n are natural numbers, which tells us that m plus 7 is going to be always bigger than or equal to 8, and n plus 5 is going to be always bigger than or equal to 6. So that means it's impossible for m plus 7 or n plus 5 to be equal to 3 or 5. But that tells us that we have to group this 3 times 5 together into 15, 
if we want to have our solution over natural numbers like this. We could have our solution over integers if we relax that a little bit, but for solutions over natural numbers, we need to group that three and five together into 15. That's gonna give us two solutions. So we'll have m plus five equals 15, and then n plus five equals 137. So let's see, that's gonna give us mn equals 8, 132. So that ordered pair. Great. Or we could have like the other case. And notice that m and n are not symmetric in this equation. So we can't do the same trick that we did over here. We could have m plus 7 equals 137. And then n plus 5 equals 15. So that's gonna tell us that m comma n is 130 and then 10. So that gives us our two solutions in this case as well. And that's a good place to stop.